Montana. Virtues. Virtues, Greg Montana. five or less, please raise your hand. For those of you that it was six, seven, or eight, please raise your hand and look around. And for those of you that it was nine or ten, please raise your hand. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I see these results all over the world. We fit into this thing called the comfort zone. It's an agreement we have, and yet it's an agreement that we would love to break. In fact, you have an idea of what a 10 is for you because you just measured against it. I've been lucky to study the lives of people that live their lives at a level 10. And in fact, I married someone that died. And I'd like to share with you how he died. Everyone, please point to yourself. Now this puzzles me. You're all pointing at your heart, and yet who you are, who you know yourself to be, your credentials, your name, everything about you is stored up here. And yet we point here. Because we know that this is who we are. And bear with me one more time. What is this 10 word? Anyone? Just yell it out. Ten dollars. Ten Zero. Five bucks. Is the value of the pen in the pen or in the person? It is in you, isn't it? In fact, everything that you see outside you that you think has value is valuable because of what, a mean, because of what is meaningful to you. I've studied the lives of these people that are heroes and I've noticed something fascinating about them. They all have a single virtue. Mother Teresa was committed to compassion. Martin Luther King, I have a dream of brotherhood. Gandhi was committed to peaceful liberation. What are you committed to? What would be your virtue? One of my favorite heroes is Muhammad Ali. He had amazing self-confidence. He was once on an airplane and the flight attendant told him to fasten the seatbelt. <coughs> and Muhammad Ali said, Superman doesn't need a seatbelt. And the, steward, the flight attendant said, Superman doesn't need an airplane. Fasten your seat. <laughs> I would love for you to have the confidence of Muhammad Ali and the clarity of the stewardess. And we see these virtues everywhere. The animal kingdom, the owl is wisdom, the lion is leadership, the dog is loyalty. Cat is independence. We see these virtues throughout mythology. We see them throughout scripture, throughout stories, and in fact, you know people that have touched your heart because they lived a virtuous life. And what I really wanted to know when I studied the lives of these people is how can a normal human being live in that comfort zone, break that agreement, and step out and live in alignment with their virtues? Just like you have a fingerprint or a blood type, you have a specific virtue. Loyalty, kindness, compassion, honor, nobility, trust, responsibility, reliability, harmony, peace, joy. What is your virtue? I'd like to share with you a very amazing and quick way that you can know. Have you ever watched a movie that was so beautiful and so meaningful, it literally gave you goosebumps? moved you to tears, a rush of love went up through your body. We've all had those experiences. A book, a movie, seeing someone do something beautiful for someone else, maybe even on the news, or someone that you know, personally. But have you ever actually taken the moments that gave you goosebumps and written them down on a single piece of paper 
and looks for a common theme that runs through them. Most people have not. But if you will, you will get to know those virtues that are most meaningful to you. And there's a second ingredient. This one's a little strange. Have you ever been so angry it shocked you that you could get that angry? So angry you said things you wish you hadn't said, or did things you wish you hadn't done. In those moments when we're enraged, and everyone's had those moments, we even claim it wasn't me. It wasn't you, but it was you. You see, if you don't train yourself to express those virtues, which is what I love so much about Toastmasters, you get to train yourself to speak powerfully what's meaningful to you. But if you don't, there's a part of you that when the moment comes for you to express your virtues, you will become enraged. But here's the beauty of anger. The definition is a thwarted desire. Interesting, but the definition of depression is anger turned inward. The question to ask yourself that nobody perhaps has asked you, when you're angry, what are you committed to that has been violated? Would you be angry if you weren't committed to something beautiful? So you can take those moments and write them down and find out what is it that I am so committed to in these moments that have made me angry. Simple exercise a third grader can do. And if you do it, you will know your virtues. And when you do, you may be able to fulfill the formula that I discovered about all heroes throughout history. So everybody get a hero in mind. Now let me ask, did they know themselves? Did they speak their truth? And did they give their gift? In Toastmasters, you will learn to know yourself and learn to speak your truth. And if you know your virtues, you cannot help but give your gift. Socrates said many hundreds of years ago, know thyself. Shakespeare, to thine own self be true. And then as the night comes the day, thou canst not be false to any man.